Hello coders. So today we are going to look at React and Firebase, how you can post data from a React app to Firebase using Axios. And first of all, I'm going to show you what I have already done. I created a new component, results.js. And in this component, I also created a form with three input fields, the, the name, unit, and grade. And I hooked a component, our class-based component at app.js so that it, you can see the output. And this is the output with three input fields and a submit button. So the first thing that uh, I want us to do is we are going to install Axios. So I'll stop the development server using control C and then I accept yes. And then use this command to install Axios. This is what we will, we will use to make the network request. So npm install dash dash save Axios. Okay, I have already installed Axios, so this will just update the version that I already have. And then the next thing is that we are going to look at Firebase. If you if you don't have a Firebase account, you, you will just create one or just log in with Google. So let's get started. So we will add a new project. So I'll say add project. And then I'll give my project a name, I'll call it results. And then I'll accept the terms. I'll, I will place the create project button. As this roads, remember to, I'll start the development server because Axios has already updated so I'll say npm start if you have is if you have already installed you can also start your development server and then back on Firebase your new project is ready I'll continue So this one has opened first the project. We go to a database. And then we create database. Start in test mode. I go next. We I will use this location. So I say done. it is starting the development server so the first thing you need to do is change from Cloudflare to real-time database and then after that we need to set the rules and I'll close the previous one I'll set from false to true also this one from false to true then we go back to remember to publish and then we go back to data we 
use this endpoint so copy highlight this link and copy uh, after copying create a new file at the source we are going to create an instance of uh, axia so that we can use this link so i'm creating a new file results .js, that's the name that i'm giving it you can call it any other name that you wish uh, this will work for now and then i'm going to use this code i'm going to import axias import axias from axias and then i'm going to export default export default export default axias dot create Okay, this will create an, an instance and then I place the brackets and then the calibre brackets and then I set the base URL to what we just copied so we now paste remember to place it inside the quotation marks That way looks that looks nice. I'll save that file. I, I'll head back to our results add.js. So as we have three input fields, we will handle state in this file. So we need to set the state for the three input fields. I'll go to state. Uh, state is equals. name we give it a empty values name and then we have unit we also give it empty values and and last three we have grade and uh, empty values again that's look nice the next thing we need to do is create a handler because uh, we are going to submit this form and we are going to post the data using a handler so on submit let's create this event handler on submit we are going to i'll give the handler this name this so this dot post data handler that's look nice. So let's create this post data handler at the in the above the render function. So post data handler and it's a null function that accepts the event the parameter there. not happening is it course so the first thing I'll prevent default e dot prevent default that way and then we are now going to use we are now going to use the our instance the where we set we use the base URL so we will import this uh, results.js to our results add.js file so import import results from results and then this results we are going to use it to post our, our values here to the server so, so I'll say results dot post remember the results call it the endpoint from fire for, for, from firebase 
so results.post will add a, let's say max dot json now in firebase you must place this extension dot json else it won't work as as in when you use this with json placeholders and uh, it actually works but when when using firebase you must add this extension dot json and then here we will uh, the second parameter is our data so i'll place the data here and then this data will hold these values so this data is an object and let's set this object above here so i'll set const data it's an object that has these values so const data will be equal to name name is this dot name this dot state dot name this dot state dot name and then the unit will be this dot state dot unit and then we set the grade to this dot state dot grade yes so uh, the word data is optional you can use any other word but this is an object that is just holding our data from the state so that we are able to use it with our post function here and then this is done asynchronously so we can use a dot then so that we can console dot log this uh, the, the output so i'll use dot then response it's an arrow function that it's a callback function and then inside here we can console dot log the response Okay, that looks nice the next thing that we need to do is to set up our values our, our form input values so we will start with the name and save the value we set the value to to this stage dot name this dot stage dot name and then so this will be assigned the empty value that we used here but what happens after you type we need to update that value so we will use our, an event handler the on change event on change so so that we can set these values to our new values okay so on change it's about this we use this calibrases it's a we use a, a callback function and, and it accept uh, e e stands for event so you can use event called e as and another function we set the state using this dot set this dot set state and then the first the first field uses the name so we set the name to e dot target dot value so this on change will update our value using the set state anytime you type it will update the empty string to the new value that we uh, we have we input at the field and then we need to do this for the other field so we just copy this this uh, 
these two lines and then we paste so value we edit name to unit because this field is for unit and then here remember this one also you set the name to unit we do the same for the grade we paste this dot state dot now this is the grade remember to spell this one correctly and then remember to change this also grade so that's pretty much it guys so we have updated our state we set the values to the empty string we update the state and then we receive the updated state using the data object and use the dot post function to post our data to the backend and remember this results holds the base url that we used here and also remember that in in firebase you must include the dot json at the end of this link here so let's see if this one will work let's go back to the browser i i will inspect the element so that you can see if there is any any output console then the name let's say it's chao codes then the unit let's say it's react then the grade i'll say it's an a and then submit yes we have found a feedback and our data was actually posted guys and it's that it, it is that easy you can see max was posted here and with the with our key here and with our data so this is nice our data was posted this so i'll create another video on how to fetch this data and display it on the screen i hope this was fun remember to comment below and subscribe and i love you all i'll see you next time thank you